Are you struggling to read sheet music fluently? Well, maybe there's some outside factors that are working against you. Let's talk about it. Hello everyone, I'm Christy Lynn and welcome back to my channel. And a special big welcome if this is your first time here. I really hope you subscribe, especially if you're learning to play the harp and you want a bit of help along the way, then this is the place to be. So today we're talking about reading sheet music and one of the outside factors that would affect your reading. So this is for people who are either struggling to, to read your sheet music fluently or maybe you're struggling with losing your place when you're glancing between your sheet music and the strings of the harp. Um, or maybe you have some trouble with your eyesight as well and that's bothering you a bit. It just feels like the sheet music is difficult to follow. So this is something that you definitely need to check and not a lot of teachers speak about this. Um, so let's make sure that this outside factor is not hindering your playing. The outside factor I'm talking about is the height and position of your sheet music. So let's have a look at this practically. You definitely need a music stand. Here is mine. And, and what a lot of people do is they put their music stand just where it's comfortable to read in terms of how close it is and also to turn the pages. So the typical thing is that you would put it just about over here to your left and less than an arm's distance away, which seems really great at first glance. But then when you try to play, let me just get my right lever changes. When you try to play, you find that it's not so easy. Let me show you. So I'm glancing between here and here. It's a big difference. And it's easy to lose your place because you're trying to look here and then look here, look here and then look here. It's not really that great. So we're moving our heads, we're um, having to move our eyes a lot and we're struggling to keep track of the sheet music. So what I would like you to try is to make your sheet music a little lower. I like mine as low as possible. And we put it right in front of you here. So what we are looking for is when you have your hands on the strings, you want your sheet music to be directly in your eye line. I think actually a little bit higher would be better. So as you have your hands on the strings, you don't have to move your head at all. I'm looking at the sheet music. Now I'm looking at my hands, now I'm looking at the sheet music, now I'm looking at my hands. And even your eyes shouldn't have to move too much. Mine are there and then they're looking down a little bit here. But if my hands were playing here, there would be not that much movement um, because my sheet music is directly in front of me over here. The difference when it's over here is moving your head when it's over here. We don't have to move much at all. So what I would like you to do is place your fingers on the strings, have a look at, have your, have your head straight in line, looking down at your fingers, and then try to get your sheet music as perfectly in line with that eye line and in front of you as possible. So we don't want it to be touching your, your harp when your harp is resting down. Um, so it will be just to the left of the front column of your harp. Um, but there shouldn't be too much of a gap, otherwise it's going to be too far to the left and you're going to have to move your head when you're glancing. Here are a few other environmental factors that could be affecting your ability to read your sheet music easily. Number one, making sure that the lighting is right. So we don't want to have a backlight, which means that there would be light coming from behind your sheet music. So you don't want to have windows behind there. You'd rather have the windows behind you so that it's onto the sheet music and the same with lighting in your room rather have a lamp behind you um, pointing at the sheet music you could even have a little light on your music stand one that comes over here and i'll put a link down in the description box for where you can purchase a little la light stand another thing that will help with your eyesight with glancing at your um, or seeing your strings more easily is some of my friends have been or my and my students have been using lights a light strip along the top of their harp um, pointing down at the strings so that helps you to see the strings more easily and a final suggestion for today is to check what glasses you're using if you have some difficulty with your eyesight then make sure that you are using 
bifocals if possible because well I don't have experience with this but I've heard from people who, who do use them that that can be really helpful because then when you're glancing at your strings which are close you can see that easily and then you can also see your music which is further away when you use the top part of the bifocals. So have any of these suggestions been helpful for you? Please let us know down in the comments below and maybe you have some other ideas and you're also welcome to join us when we have a video chat this month with harpists all around the world discussing this very topic. So this month we'll talk about how to help make your sheet music music reading easier. Whoa, that's a bit of a mouthful, but it's really fun. It's our virtual harp circle and you can try it out for one month and see what you think. And um, the link is going to be on the screen right now. Otherwise, I hope you subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye.